Defining magnets in local coordinate system can be extremely important for two reasons. When you have a cylindrical magnet and you want to define direction for them. And second, when you have magnets moving and you want to assign the right direction at every step. In this video, I will show you how you can define local coordinate system in EMS. In this example, I have a cylindrical magnet and a steel block. The cylindrical magnet has a direction that is radially outward. I also have a magnetostatic study that calculates the force on the steel block due to the magnet. To define a magnet in local coordinate system, first you must define a coordinate system in SOLIDWORKS. If you are defining a cylindrical coordinate system, you must take care in such a way that uh, the xy plane of your local coordinate system lies in the plane of the radius. For example, if I zoom here, you see that my xy plane of the coordinate system that I created in SOLIDWORKS is the same plane in which the radius of my cylindrical coordinate system will be located. Once you have defined a proper coordinate system in SOLIDWORKS, go to the EMS study, right click on the magnet and select coercivity direction. In this dialog box, you can select the local coordinate system that you created in SOLIDWORKS and then depending upon the type of the coordinate system you want to create for the magnet, in this case a cylindrical coordinate system, you select cylindrical and then you can select if the cylindrical coordinate system is along the radial direction, along the theta direction or along the z direction. In this case I select the cylindrical coordinate system of the magnet to be along the radial direction. The magnet has a radially outward coordinate system. Once you have defined the coercivity direction, you can select OK. Now that I have solved this simulation, let us take a look at the results. I am going to plot the magnetic flux density as a vector plot and you can see here very clearly how the vectors move out radially out of the magnet and then they uh, get back in through the steel block. EMS also allows you to calculate the force acting on the steel block due to this magnet and that can be accomplished by selecting the result table and here you can see the force in the x, y and z direction. 